Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey Blooded. My name is Dave, thanks for joining me here today. It is once again Wednesday, which is our favorite day of the week because I like to call it Whiskey Wednesday. It's where I get to talk to you guys about whiskey and go through our normal format of looking at and talking about and nosing and tasting and scoring whiskey. So today, I've seen a lot of comments recently um, and over the past couple months of people looking for a review of Jefferson's. So today I'm gonna to be doing Jefferson's Very Old Small Batch Whiskey. So um, this is something you guys have been asking for, and I figured it would be time to do this one. I've had this bottle for about a year. This is one of the, the earlier bottles that I bought when I got into um, a lot more into bourbon. So let's go through this one here. Um, so this is Jefferson's Reserve, very old straight bourbon whiskey, very small batch. It is 90.2 proof, and I love the bottle. This is one of my, not my favorite bottles, but this is just a unique bottle. I love the stopper. I love the design. It's a cool bottle. This is number 1398 of, so on the back it says your bottle information, number 1398 of 2400 bottles. Uh, proof of authenticity, batch number 230, very small batch. I paid $50 for this bottle. I, I'm, and it's been actually about a year and a half, if not even maybe a little longer than that. And I paid, I think, 50 for that. Might have been like 48 might have been like 55, but somewhere around 50 for this bottle. Um, I remember having a little bit of trouble getting this one. Um, it's not, you can get it here in Michigan, but it's not extremely easy to find just because it's not one of the most popular ones in this area. And um, I, I may have paid, like I said, between probably about 50 and 55 for it. So um, what do I think about the whiskey? Well, let's get into that. This is a um, like I said, it's a very small batch whiskey. It is a decent proof at 90. It is uh, bottled by Paramount Distillers, Cleveland, Ohio, um, prepared by Castle Brands. So it's definitely something that I was pleasantly surprised by when I picked it up. Um, let's see how it's tasting today. It has been, things dry. It has been a long time since I've opened this bottle. Um, it's probably been about a year. Hey, you guys noticed that? Um, we were having this discussion in a whiskey group, and I think everyone was a little bit different on it. Have you guys noticed that when you open a bottle, and then even after you recork it, so obviously when it comes, it's going to have... Um, sometimes plastic around it, sometimes a seal around it, sometimes it's just tape holding it down. But have you guys noticed that after you actually cork it, that very, very slightly over time that it starts to change as you start to get through the bottle? And I, I would assume that would mean because, be because some of the alcohol or the, the water here or the air here is something that's not present when the bottle's, you know, more full. So maybe it's interacting with air more or more evaporation is going on. But have you, have you guys noticed that, that it changes a little bit over time? Um, there's some bottles that I've opened and then after like a couple months, I go back and I, I remember in the beginning I loved them and then I don't like them as much or I didn't like them that much, but then they've sort of kind of evolved just a little bit. I mean, we know what happens when we leave our whiskey sitting out uh, in the elements, in air, is it circulating? We know what happens there, it definitely changes the taste, but does it do that when it's corked? Let me know what you guys think, because our whiskey group, um, I think more people thought it did change, but there are a couple people who are like, no, it doesn't change at all for me. Um, so I'm really curious to see what, what it is with you guys. Maybe it has something to do with how temperatures in your houses or pressure or where you live, I, God knows. Um, so anyways, fun thing to talk about. So let's get into this one. So um, this is, as far as color goes, uh, there we go. As far as color goes, this one is a gold, oh, it's actually, actually pretty amber. It's an amberish color. Maybe a little hint of red in there. Go a little closer here for you guys. There's the color for you. As for the nose on this one, That's a nose. I mean, I actually really like the nose on this one. It's very strong. Much stronger than the proof gives on. And 90 is a good proof, but we've, we've tried some much higher proofs. Strong nose. Lots of burn. 
Lots of oak, lots of cinnamon. Lots of like pepper notes, lots of spicy notes, lots of lots of spice, lots of spice. Just at the end there, I'm getting some red hots. Um definitely some earthy notes too. So the age is is coming out on this one. I do like the nose. This this is actually a really quite luscious nose. Complex burns in your no, in your nostrils a little bit. You know, it definitely opens into your nose. Let's taste it though. And this is one of those things to go back to. I, I actually really like it now. I don't remember liking it as much as what I'm liking it right now. So has something changed with this sitting over time for over a year since I've last opened the bottle? Guys, when I taste this one, Right up front, there's this amazing balance of dark fruits and cinnamon and honey and a very pleasant, silky feel in my mouth. As I drink, as I take the drink down my throat, that's when it starts to open up with this intense oak wood burn. Uh, more cinnamon, more red hot, more spicy. Uh, black pepper, hint of tobacco, um, the age starts to set in. So, um, almost a little bit overpoweringly so, which is probably the only negative mark I have against this, is that it could be more balanced on the finish. Um, but it's definitely got a great initial taste, a great nose. It's got, you know, a nice, very heated taste to it. Um, Surprised actually at that. Like I said, that's uh, that's definitely something that I don't remember from the first tasting. Buttery on the front. A um, little bit, knowing on the front here, it's got this little bitter taste that kind of kicks in for a second there, but then it, it starts to fill up with those dark fruits. So it's like the buttery, and then right after that, it's, it hits that, that bitter taste, you can taste it right back here, but then it fills in with those dark fruit flavors, and then it starts to mid and finish with those more oaky, intense, woody, burny, earthy flavors. So I do like this one. Uh, I don't like the price point. I, I don't love the price point on this one. You're getting a pretty good product out of this, but uh, you know I don't, I don't fall in love with this price point. I'd, I'd rather, um, I don't know actually. I put this just actually probably just below Blanton's for me. Um, it's a little bit cheaper too. So, you know, maybe I don't hate the price point that much, but if I'm going to spend 50 to 60, I'm going to probably buy Blanton's, which for me personally is one of my, my favorites, just the whole presentation, everything together. But, um, and actually in several ways, I would kind of describe this with Blanton, like Blanton's, but maybe a little less, less buttery to me, but, um, but the, uh, the, the burn and everything is, is actually pretty similar to, to Blanton's for me. So I'm going to put this one as far as price goes, uh, or as far as score goes, um, let's say for the Jeffersons, let me fold this guy over here. Let's say for the Jeffersons, uh, you know, it's a solid B plus for me, which would be for our scoring system here, we go out of 100. I'm going to put this at 89 out of 100. Um, you know, I like it. I like the bottle. Like I said, it's one of my, one of my more popular, or more popular, one of my favorite bottles. Um, not my favorite, but probably in my top 10 on bottles. Um, I like the presentation. I like the nose. I love the nose. Um, I love the nose. The nose on this is fantastic. I love that initial taste. That bitterness throws me off. The really burny finish throws me off. It could be a little more balanced on the finish. Um, but other than that, good all around product. Um, a lot of people use this for cocktails. I think this is a great cocktail drink. I've used it for several myself. So a lot of people use it for cocktails. It's just 
it's great on its own too. Um, solid B plus, solid 89 score out of this one. Let me know what you guys think about Jefferson's. Um, I know there's a, a bunch of you out there that, that really like it. So sorry that uh, this didn't score into my highest, but it's, it's a good quality $50 uh, bourbon, and I think that you guys will like it too. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me here today on Whiskey Blooded. I see our subscriber base continues to grow, so thank you so much to, uh, for that. Uh, it's been really fun sharing all the whiskey adventures with you guys as we continue going. I'm actually sort of running out of things to, to review, so I'll be looking to you guys for... It's really hard for me to do the local stuff you guys are asking for, so if you live in a certain town you want me to review that, that's a little bit tough for me to find. But if you have something that you know that's not ridiculously priced or that you noticed I haven't reviewed yet or if you're thinking about buying a bottle for a friend or something and it's something that is maybe a little more readily available let me know I'll um, pick it up and we'll do a couple extra reviews uh, over the next couple weeks of things that uh, that maybe I don't already have myself so thanks again guys this has been Whiskey Blooded my name is Dave have a great one enjoy your Whiskey Wednesday